everybody, I'm Ahmad Rashad, and this is Real TV. Hang on tight. Today's show is loaded with rough rides. From the rookie rodeo rider who gets ripped. This vehicle is breaking down quickly. To the classic car that makes its own smoke screen. And the dragster explodes. Can rescuers reach the driver in time? Plus, he just got a cast taken off. Oops. And off-roading goes over the top. It's 30 minutes of the world's best shots coming at you right now on Real TV. Here's Ahmad Rajad. Welcome to the show. Bull riding is not for the faint of heart, but the man in our first story is going to wish he never worked up the nerve to try to ride this bull. There's one thing every bull rider learns early. As tough as it may be to stay on top of one of these big boys, it's a hell of a lot better than finding yourself under one. Unfortunately, for this amateur rider in Mexico, he's about to learn that fact the hard way. When this first time Cowboy loses it, he tries to hold on. It's a mistake. His left spur gets caught, and he spends an excruciating 10 seconds being dragged and stalked by a one-ton side of beef with a bad attitude. Somehow, he survives, but pays a high price for this crash course in bull riding 101. No pain, no gain. Straight ahead, here on Real TV. Some guys never learn. Meet Billy Prislin. He just got a cast off his arm yesterday, and now he's back in action. For a minute. It's broken again, and Billy's bumming. I wish it would just stop hurting right now. But it's a pretty safe bet. He'll be back on the streets in no time. It's gonna hurt for so long, dude. Calling all cars. Turn on your dashboard cameras. It's great police video up next here on Real TV. It's that crucial moment when a routine traffic stop <laughs> turns into an adrenaline pumping high speed chase. The driver of this bitted Chevy risks life and limb to try to outrun cops in Riverdale, Georgia. And the police dash cam captures every hair-raising moment. This chase was particularly dangerous. It became obvious after a few minutes into this pursuit that this vehicle was breaking down quickly. It started to smoke a little at first, and by the time it finally gave out, the motor had blown completely. Suddenly, the cop car roars into a blanket of thick smoke. But it can't hide a Chevy with a blown engine. The driver tries to run. Now, the suspect's charged with reckless driving, weaving, a seatbelt violation, and driving under the influence of marijuana. Seems the car may not have been the only thing smoking. This is America's number one source for the wildest shots ever caught on tape. This is Real TV. The red and white bomb on this fighter jet is 2,500 pounds of trouble because it almost never misses. Once it's released, the GBU-15 glides to its target using a built-in TV camera and remote-controlled wings. There's the target. We have the target. In this rarely seen test footage, you can see the camera bomb lock on and guide itself toward the target. And that lets the pilot get as far away as possible before all hell breaks loose. Camera bombs were a Gulf War secret used to hit the most valuable enemy targets. A fact these airmen obviously remember. Good luck. Good. There's a bomb. Here's the wake-up call. 
Take a look at this hit in slow motion, and you'll see just how accurate this baby is. The military won't say just how fast these glider bombs go, but they will say the $195,000 price tag is worth it if it keeps America's fighting forces out of harm's way. Real TV. Next up, we head off-road for a day of hill climbing. A day that turns into a disaster for one driver. <laughs> it's a fun day in the muddy hills of Indiana for Eric Ank and his off-roading buddies. These Jeep jockeys slither down the slippery slopes. They try to ride their high horsepower steeds right back up again. Eric's a charter member of the Tri-State Jeepers, and now he's ready to put his powerful yellow buggy to the test. Before he tackles the ascent, Eric picks up a pal as a passenger. He's in for a ride he'll never forget. a mild concussion a short time later eric even tries to drive his battered jeep home eric finally gets a gentle tow one wild wipeout is quite enough for this day been off-roading for 18 years and says he's flipped many times just never like that i bet he says that after every flip coming up one flip leaves two people dangling spinning out of control plus the stunt that comes up a little short there's more straight ahead from the video vaults of real tv you shoot it and we'll show it welcome back some men just have to prove they can jump but you're about to see three who didn't quite succeed, starting with the skateboarder. Oh, Believe it or not, he walks away with nothing more than a bad bruise. Hard to believe when you see how hard he hits. Oh. In Mississippi, a driver goes for a 150-foot jump in a pickup. Will he make it? No. Why not? Well, as you can see, the front end's fine, but the rear end isn't high enough to clear the ramp. The impact breaks the truck's back, but the driver walks away. This motorcycle rider isn't so lucky. He flips out. Watch again and listen. That snap you hear is the guy's leg breaking. Don't worry, he'll walk again after surgery. A certified 100% real TV hero happens to be just around the corner. It's all over. Fire and rescue choppers are responding to trouble in Altadena, California. Two hikers are stuck on a tiny ledge. 700 feet up the ravine wall, the first guy is hooked in and hoisted up. No problem. Nice, Chris. Look at 
and uh... but when fireman Tom Peters goes down to rescue the second hiker gravity gets ugly ouch but that hurt Tom's okay but he knows he'll only get one shot at this They're spinning with no way to stop. The second victim is now on the line. As you can see, the county fire paramedic is in a precarious position. The line that's hooked to his harness went up between one of his legs, and now he's in a sideways position. This is going to change their center of gravity, and that's what's causing the spinning motion. They could be in trouble here. There's a second paramedic on the skid. If they can get him up fast enough, that second paramedic can stop the this, this swinging and uh, try and stabilize those two victims. This is undoubtedly very painful and uncomfortable for both the victim and the paramedic that's on the line, although they're in no danger of falling. The only solution is to lower them back to the they pad. Go ahead and put them on the ground and let him reposition himself. It works, but hiker Stephen Tolkien says it's a rescue that almost never happened. He got himself about half out of the harness when the rock he was standing on just disappeared. It just... Luckily for Stephen, Tom was faster than the crumbling sandstone. At the exact second that he cinched the last clip around my waist, the entire ledge gave way under us, just from our waist, just fell. With the rope snagged on his leg, all the rescuer can do is hold on. Within the hour, Stephen is back on the ground, unhurt, and grateful to Tom Peters, the man who saved him. Straight ahead. Not even two troopers can control this man. How are they going to stop him? Plus, a Civil War reenactment of his real bloodshed. Still the first and still the best. You're watching Real TV. When the record light goes on, Real TV is off and running. Welcome back. Drag racing is a sport loaded with danger. The driver in our next story barely gets off the starting line when he finds himself in big trouble. This drag race in Madison, Illinois, is a quarter mile of burning rubber and speed. At the start, driver Mark Tate revs up his purple O's. It's got an experimental transmission and a dangerous future. Without warning, the car bursts into flame. Holy a methane fireball engulfs the dragster. As each terrible second goes by, Mark is still inside, trapped by his seatbelt. Men with fire extinguishers rush over. Finally, through a thick cloud of smoke, you can see Mark stagger out of the dragster. It's amazing he's on his feet. When we play back the tape, you can see how violently the dragster's supercharger explodes, sending metal flying. Those long seconds in the burning dragster leave Mark with burns to his hands, face, and lungs. But after months of therapy, Mark is back in the driver's seat and ready to race again. Did you know that Real TV is seen in over 70 countries all over the world? Fire! In Ohio's Paul Pies Memorial Park, hundreds of Civil War enthusiasts recreate one of America's bloodiest battles. 14-year-old Brett Vacrilli is the cannon ramming man, and an amateur videographer records the action. Suddenly, this mock trauma becomes a real emergency. Watch again in slow motion. The cannon misfires and blasts Brett 18 feet. It's serious. I remember thinking that it finally happened to me. I woke up on the ground. There was people around me and trying to tell me what was going on and it was going to be okay. I was saying, oh, my arm, my arm, and I can't see. Brett's right arm and hand are badly damaged, and he loses his sight in one eye. But he says he's excited to think about returning to the battlefield in the near future. This didn't drive me away from rain acting because it's enjoyable. I like doing it. 
The long arm of the law is reaching out for you. Coming up next, right here on Real TV. Things are about to get nasty on a Texas roadside. Says you got warrants out for you. The driver gives Texas State Trooper Brian Barnhart no trouble. The passenger is another story. Step out and let me look at your driver's license, please, sir. Your last name is Colston. Yes. C O L. First name. Last name is Colston. Yes. 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 It should be a simple Q&A, but the passenger is having an identity crisis. So your first name, Leo Coates. Stevaster, Leo, whatever his name is, the trooper's losing patience with him. Face that direction. Turn around and face that direction. I'll tell you what you do. You get on your knees. Get on your knees. Down on your damn knees. It's decision time. The passenger has two choices, cooperate or escalate. Cross your feet. He chooses to do things the hard way, just as backup arrives. I have a walk, like, look straight ahead. Get on the ground. I ain't got to be on the ground, man. The guy gives the cops all they can handle. He doesn't even flinch as the baton strikes to his legs. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down. in a flash. The passenger is too much for the cops. He knocks out a deputy, then wrestles Trooper Barnhart to the ground. The officer shoots him twice, in his arm and his rear end. It's the only way to stop him. Call somebody, man. I'm freezing to death. 61, 59. Officer needs assistance. Shot fired. Get me an ambulance right now. The man is convicted of assault and given probation. But this incident leaves him partially paralyzed, making this a mistake he will have to live with for the rest of his life. Whatever they try, it's caught by the eye in the sky, right here on Real TV. Before we go, we just had to show you one young athlete's amazing feat on the football field. Welcome to Iowa, where the Ankeny Hawks are battling the Fort Dodge Dodgers in a high school football game. There's 9 minutes 20 seconds left in the final quarter. It's fourth down, and the Hawks send kicker Todd Seavers in for a field goal attempt. It's not unusual. What is unusual is the distance the high school senior will have to kick. Look closely. Todd will kick from the Hawks' 47-yard line. When you add an extra 10 yards to account for where the goal posts are placed, it makes Todd's attempt a 63-yard kick. If he makes it, he'll break the state record of 62 yards and tie the national record for the longest field goal ever. The ball is snapped. The kick is up. And it's good. I was just going nuts. I didn't. I wasn't thinking. I was just running around the field. The teammates came out, and that was pretty cool. The crowd was going nuts. That was awesome. It felt great. I got all of it. A big league play for a small-town boy. Remember the name Todd Seavers. You'll probably see him one day kicking for an NFL team near you. We are all out of time for today, but we leave you with a man setting a record of his own. It involves a soccer ball. So long, everybody.